In the grand epic of Nam Ramayana, we sing praises of Lord Ram, the noble king and beloved of Sita, encounter with Supranakha. In the serene forest of Panchavati, Sri Ram's peace was disturbed by the wicked Supanakha. Her evil desires led her to approach Rama, but her advances were met with rejection and retribution. Battle with Khara and Dushana, Rama's valor was tested further. When the demons Khara and Dushana attacked with divine strength, he vanquished them, bringing peace to the forest. The golden deer, Sita's heart was captivated by a golden deer in the forest to please her. Rama pursued the elusive creature, unaware that it was a demon in disguise, leading to a fateful turn of events. Maricha, the demon in the form of the golden deer, met his end at Rama's hand, but not before he tricked Sita into sending Lakshmana away, setting the stage for her abduction. With Sita lost, Rama's heartache turned into a relentless search across the lands, a quest filled with hope and despair. Meeting Jatayu, Ram found Jatayu, the noble vulture king, grievously wounded. Before his death, Jatayu revealed Sita's abduction by Ravana, providing crucial information to Rama. In the hermitage of Shabri, Rama received simple fruits offered with boundless devotion. This encounter reaffirmed his humility and the depth of his compassion. Rama's journey brought him face to face with the monstrous Kabanda. In a fierce battle, he severed Kabanda's arms, liberating him from a curse. Hanuman's devotion in Kishkinda, Rama met Hanuman, the devoted monkey who recognized the divinity in Rama and pledged his unwavering service, alliance with Sugriv. Rama formed an alliance with Sugriv, the exiled monkey king, and promised to restore his throne in exchange for help to finding Sita. To fulfill his promise, Ram confronted and defeated Bali, the powerful monkey king, freeing Sugriv from his brother's tyranny. Hanuman as messenger, Rama entrusted Hanuman with his ring, sending him as a messenger to Sita, a task that would take Hanuman across great obstacles to Lanka. Throughout the trials, Lakshman stood by Rama's side his unwavering loyalty and service, reflecting the deep bond between the brothers. Hanuman's leap, with Rama's name in his heart, Hanuman leapt across the ocean to Lanka, overcoming vast distances in his mission to find Sita. Removing obstacles, Rama's divine will removed all obstacles from Hanuman's path, guiding him safely to his destination. Meeting Sita in Lanka, Hanuman discovered Sita in captivity. His meeting with her brought hope and the promise of Rama's imminent rescue. Rama condemned the ten-headed Ravana, the demon king of Lanka, whose wickedness knew no bounds and prepared to liberate Sita, embracing Hanuman. Upon Hanuman's return, Ram embraced him, honoring his faithful service and the crucial news of Sita's location. Rama learned from Hanuman about Sita's ordeal with Kakasura in the forest, a story that further fueled his resolve to rescue her. I take refuge in Sri Ram, who heard that Kakasura incident which took place in the forest from Hanuman as told to Hanuman by Devi Sita. Finally, Ram saw the Churamari, the precious hair ornament of Sita, brought to him by Hanuman, symbolizing hope and the impending reunion. I take refuge in Sri Ram, who saw the Churamani. Then, in the name of Nam Ramayana, the glory of Rama unfolds in a sequence of divine acts, showcasing his strength, compassion, and unyielding dedication to Dharma. Through battles and mourns, Rama's journey remains a timeless beacon of righteousness and devotion, eternally rewarded by those who chant his name, Jai Gurudev.